So we're at the escape room, time machine called whatever this thing is called, it's pretty futuristic. Um, most likely we're not allowed to have this camera inside, so we'll see you when I get out. This is a zombie that was inside. Imagine this coming out, out of a window. Zombie one 28 days later was terrifying. But the Harry Potter one was still fun. Got to, you know, get in touch with my inner witch. Alright, so we just got out. Um, it was really cool actually. Uh, a lot different from the Sydney one. Um, there's, there's more experience here rather than just kind of clues and problem solving. Uh, the 28 days later one was pretty scary. Uh, zombies came out of nowhere, they came out of windows, they came out of hidden doors, uh, they actually kind of come attack you and you have to use the gun. Um, it's an airsoft gun that you can just shoot um, and it'll kill them in the head. Um, one or two shots usually kills them in the head. Uh, the Harry Potter one um, wasn't as kind of fun as the other one but the set decor for the Harry Potter was freaking amazing. I mean you had water magic, you had a wand that can attract objects um, as your kind of magic thing. Uh, you have water that makes things float to you as a clue. So it was pretty cool for an experience. Um, it's not just problem solving but you actually had to do a few things. Um, if you're ever in Jakarta and you want to do an escape room, this is a place to be and it's called Time Machine. They have a new place, um, they have a new game uh, called The Fallout soon. So it'll be cool. You guys should come check it out when you're here. So we ended up at Ombe Cafe near our house. Um, Ombe means drink in Javanese. Um, the coffee was alright, it wasn't that great. Uh, everyone said it was supposed to be a good cafe. It's a nice little cafe to be in, but I think the coffee can be improved. Uh, the milk coffee specifically, like the lattes and the cappuccinos, it was so, so watered down. Um, they use single origin for the espressos, but don't use an extra shot. So. I could almost taste no coffee. I had also the V60, which was pretty good. It was just the Panama um, Geisha, and then also used the. I also had the cold brew, which was really watered down. I wouldn't really come back, to be honest, but it's there if you guys in Jakarta. Try it out. We're now at Audible Coffee Brewers. I'm hoping that this one's better than the last one. Let's check it out. Time. 
this is stronger. I can I know it's definitely not single origin coffee. It tastes like coffee, which is good. It's really bitter though. I think people eat like a bit more of a bitter coffee than a, a weaker one. But it's good. It's good coffee. It's not bad. Well, it's a really nice cafe, like a really nice vibe, um, chill place. Uh, it's really hip, kind of more uh, modern looking, kind of hip. Um, it's a cool place to be in. Uh, if you're ever in Jakarta, uh, I think this is one of the good cafes to stay in. Um, you guys should check it out. Alright, so we're home now. Um, just got changed and showered. Uh, we have our grandma's birthday party. Not actual birthday, but the actual party itself. At the house, it's gonna be a couple hundred people actually coming, so it's gonna be a pretty big party. Um, yeah, ready to go. I might do a little bit of the time lapse maybe of the party, but that's about it. So, till the next adventure. <laughs>